as the battle for Mosul rages on. Iraqi security forces are rounding up more men who they say are members of ISIS, including this detainee. Are you a member of ISIS? Are you a member of Daesh? No. Police in Mosul gave CBC News rare access to prisoners who, according to the officers, proclaimed their allegiance to the caliphate of the Islamic State. They were captured in the eastern side of Mosul, where ISIS has been defeated. But Islamic State fighters are making their last stand just across the Tigris River in western Mosul. There are no police stations left in Mosul because ISIS simply blew them all up. So the security forces are using houses. This one behind me is a jail. Inside, we found eight men all accused of supporting ISIS. And they stay here for, on average, no longer? Juma Ibrahim is 23. He's blindfolded, so he cannot identify the police officers guarding him. Ibrahim told us that before ISIS stormed into Mosul nearly three years ago, he worked in construction. He joined the militants, he says, to make money to pay for his sister's cancer treatment. Soon, Ibrahim found himself in training, in exercises similar to these in this ISIS propaganda video. They gave him a gun, an AK-47 assault rifle, and he became a police officer at a hospital south of Mosul. Ibrahim maintained that he never once harmed anyone but recalled one day when the ISIS men senior to him saw four people trying to escape Mosul. Ibrahim says he now knows that supporting ISIS was wrong, and he says he should be punished. We also met Kutaiba Salem. The 25-year-old says he was an electrician before ISIS came to Mosul. His reason for joining the militants, also to make money to help a sick relative. Are you a member of ISIS? <coughs> Salem says he worked as a cook in a house where five ISIS fighters lived. But he's much more uncooperative, saying he didn't see anything, do anything that harmed anyone in the two years he was with ISIS. So the police boss steps in. Major Meshir Sadoun accuses Salem of lying and searches for more information about his arrest. <laughs> then it gets tense. The major asks us to stop recording. Turn it off? Yeah, okay. With the camera off, the officer kicks Salem in the head and slaps him. When we start filming again, the major insults the prisoner, calling him a son of a dog. Tell the truth, he shouts. Even if they fire me, I'll kill you if you don't tell the truth. The police are accusing you of lying. Uh, they obviously think that you've done something. Will you tell us what you did during your two and a half years with ISIS? But Salem sticks to his story. Major Sadoun says he spent two decades fighting militants in Mosul. He was shot in the face by a suspected Al-Qaeda operative a decade ago. Sadoun says in his experience a lot of detainees lie to try to protect themselves.
عبارة عن سلسلة خيطة يسموهم حلقة مرتبطة بحلقة The police will now interview the suspects' friends and family and try to find evidence that they supported ISIS before sending the cases to court. The advocacy group Human Rights Watch says 1,200 Iraqis have been arrested, accused of having ties to the Islamic State. It says many of the detainees are held in deplorable conditions, like what we saw inside this makeshift jail that reeked of feces and urine. It's where Juma Ibrahim had been held for a few weeks when we met him. Before our interview ended, he wanted to send a message to Canada. Uh, Mosul is where ISIS found much support from locals when the militants first arrived. But now, after nearly three years of living under the brutality of the jihadists, dismayed residents await their liberation. And those who joined with the militants await their fate. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Mosul.